Hello everybody, Susie here from Twitchits.com. I want to welcome you all here today. Um, if you're catching this on the replay, thanks for joining the replay. I wanted to show you guys our free printable today on Facebook Live so you can see just how easy these are to put together and how fun they can be for your little ones. So if you're not familiar, um, Twitchits.com, if you subscribe, you get a free printable every month. And we usually do some sort of kids craft or activity, something to help keep those kiddos busy. So this morning, um, this month's printable went out. And if you're already subscribed, you got it. Go check your inbox. But we have two different templates for you. So we have one that has lightning bolts and stars and another one that's flowers. And these are to create DIY paper bracelets. And this is one my daughter made me right here. Of course, we want flowers. Um, there's a whole bunch of more down here. Obviously, we have been making them like crazy around here. But I just wanna show you our little tip for creating the bracelet, um, just so that you can take it on and off, especially for the little kids. They may not want them on all day, but you don't wanna just make them and then tear them. You can tape them if you want. So all you do is you print out your printable, of course, um, and then you just follow the line guides here to cut them into strips and let them color away. So I've got three different ones I've been working on here. So you can either color them in just normal. You can actually kind of create more of a silhouette type effect. Or you can even add on to your drawing. You can add, if they're older, they can add their own little special little swirls and loops and whatever. So what you want to do is you want to measure your little one's wrist oops, to make sure that you have about a half an inch to an inch overlapping on the back. This is about the size of my three-year-old's wrist. You can see here we've trimmed this one. An adult's wrist will fit in these as well, at least most adults. Um, I trim off just the very edge for it to fit me because I think my wrists are a little bit thinner. So I will trim those off here. Now you want to take these Velcro squares. You can get these at craft stores. I think I got these ones at Target. They're just sticky back Velcro squares and you can cut them in half. You don't need to use a whole one on these. It's just not necessary. Now I will forewarn you that these will make your scissors a little bit gunky. So don't use your best sewing scissors for this craft and you can get it back off with rubbing alcohol. So you won't ruin them. Now you wanna take the scratchy side of your Velcro and that's gonna go on the top side of your design. That way when they're wearing their bracelets, it's not gonna scratch their skin if it doesn't overlap all the way. And then you take the soft side and you put it just on the opposite end on the back, like so. So again, this is very important. You want the scratchy on the top and then the soft one on the back. That way when it goes on their skin, see if the scratchy was here, if it doesn't quite completely overlap, it'll be rubbing on their skin. And then they just simply go on like that. I need a little table because I'm one handed here to put it on, but they're very easy to put on. There we go and take off. So if you haven't gotten your printables yet, make sure to check your inbox. If you're not subscribed yet, just click the link above and you can head right over to the blog and see what we're talking about and get your free printable today and make some bracelets with your little ones. If you do make some of these bracelets, make sure to tag us on Instagram, at Twitchits, or here on Facebook so we can see what you're up to. Thanks everybody.